If you just upgraded to a QNAP from a Synology and backed up all your files and you got a bunch of at EADIR folders and you want to learn how to delete them quickly, then watch this video. Hi, Gary with GaryCruise.com here. I just upgraded my Synology to a QNAP and I did an R-Sync to copy all my files from my Synology to my QNAP. And I noticed in my directories, I found a bunch of EADIR in basically every folder. And when I searched, I found that there was over 15,000 folders. And if you try to go over here and delete them, these are basically thumbnail type of directories. Think of it like the thumbs DB from Windows you can safely delete these, so they're pretty annoying. And if you try to select all these and delete them, it will take forever trying to do that from um, a Mac interface. So what you wanna do is to open terminal on a Mac and SSH into your NAS. So let's open up terminal. And you want to go ahead and connect to SSH. But before you do that, if this is your first time, you wanna enable SSH on your QNAP. So let's go over here, go to control panel, then telnet SSH. And you want to check the allow SSH connection and take note of the port number and enable SFTP if you wanted to, and then click on apply. Once you do that, you can SSH into your QNAP. I'm going to be doing this on a backup of my Synology. Uh, this is not my main one. Uh, so Let's go ahead and connect to it by typing in SSH admin, which is your admin username at your NAS IP. In this case, it's going to be 192.168.86.54. So 192.168.86.54. And then put in your password. Okay, once you get in there, you want to find your root directory. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and just copy this command. I'll put the command in the description so you don't have to type it out. The system volume is usually the first volume created on your NAS and it'll store your system files in, in addition to your own data. So if you wanna change the directory to that, just type in CD share cache dev one underscore data. Once you're in that directory, you can do LS to kind of view your files. But now what we want to do is find all the instances of the EADIR folder. So from here, I'll also put in this command to go and search for all the EA. Let me uh, make this a little bit wider. So I want to find a directory called EA at EADIR and then print all of those. And then let's see how many comes back. And this should be quite a few. So what this does is that before you just go and remove all of them, because it's a pretty powerful command, you can run this command and it'll echo the names of these folders to the terminal. And uh, once we figured out that's working well, we can replace echo with rm-rf to actually remove those folders. All right, it just finished. Now, if you wanna repeat the command in the terminal, just press the up arrow and I'll pull the last command that you wrote. And then let's go over to this echo, which is basically a print command and type in rm space dash RF. So it's going to be a remove uh, recursively uh, through all the folders. It's a pretty powerful command. Do this at your own risk. I feel pretty confident that it's going to delete all these EA DIR folders. Uh, so I've copied over 10 terabytes, about 11 terabytes of data to this drive um, and it's going to probably take a while. So I'll go ahead and pause it right now. 
All right, it just completed. Let's do a refresh here. Go to my backup drive. And it looks like it is free of those EA this EA dir files or folders. Let's check my finder. Go to my my backup network drive at EADIR and let's search this TVS 472 XT and before it found over 15,000 folders again that would have taken forever to just to do that manually but we just ran these commands in the terminal and it did not find any items well it's continuing to search but it's quite it's got quite a number of directories to parse but before it would show them immediately so that concludes the quick tutorial on how to remove the Synology created EADIR folders from your QNAP now that you have a clean pristine Synology free system on your QNAP you're good to go if you found this video helpful hit that like button and please consider subscribing on the way out. I'll be doing a couple more tests on these QNAP systems. But in general, I talk about technology and gadgets. And I'm just currently working on my backup methodology for all my pictures, videos, and all that. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. And thanks for watching. Yeah.